Hello, so welcome back to episode 10 of this Dreamweaver series. So in this episode, we're going to concentrate on the sidebar, and in particular, we're going to add in all of the sidebar articles. So let's go on with it. So with Photoshop open, if we come down the design, we've sorted out all the main side. We just need to concentrate on the sidebar. But if you look at the sidebar, it's very similar to the main content, where we've got the heading here. Then we have the title of the article with the posted by with an image, we have the paragraph and we have the link. So we've already written the code pretty much, we just have to copy and paste and just tweak a few things. So while we're in Photoshop here, we may as well grab out this image, this one, and the playbook image as well. So I'm gonna zoom in. And I'm gonna click on the actual image itself, which will take me to that group, which is here, so Windows 8 Beta. And if I collapse these ones down, so we've got the Apple one and the Rim one. So we need to grab the image, this background, and the shadow underneath. So I think this is the layer here, so that's the actual image. This should be the background for it. And this is the actual shadow. So we need to grab all three, right click, duplicate, into a new document. And here we go, so image, trim. Just to zoom into that. So here's our image. So file, save for web, and then click on save. So we want to save that into the images folder, and I'm going to call this Windows 8 Beta and save that. Now we can get rid of this. So the next one we need to look at is the Apple one. So clicking on that layer takes you to that group. So I'm going to guess this is the picture. Nope. Uh, which one's the picture? Is it this one? Okay, so that's the picture. This is probably the background for it. Yep. And this is the shadow. Yep. So this one, this one, and this one. Duplicate these out. And again, trim. So I'm going to call this uh, iPad. So iPad like that and then this is the final one so click on the layer I'm gonna guess that's the background which it is and this is the shadow just looking here I've got a slight issue with these lines so what I might do is just do a bit of free transform and see if I can sort that out okay so that's better so grab the three and we want to duplicate those out again. Uh, image trim. And here's our playbook. So save that. And call that playbook. So we've now got all of the images that we need. If we just go over to Dreamweaver and we can start adding in all of the code. So in Dreamweaver, what we're going to do, we're going to come down the page. So we're pretty much going to copy what we did here, paste it over here, and just change some of the properties. So in the code view, we're going to come up here. So we want to grab the icon here and the latest news. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it inside the sidebar here. So if I just paste that in, if we look at that in design view, as you can see, there it is. So we need to change this to trending topics. And we also need to change the icon, and I think I called it trending, like that. And that should bring it in, which it has. So that's all sorted out now. Uh, we do need to change the alt tags, though, because it's not latest news anymore. So. We'll just call this trending topics. And again, just copy this to save a bit of time. Like that. So that's that portion sorted already. Now I need to get an article in there. So I'm just going to copy this one. And I'm going to paste it just below. So if we just look at that in design view, as you can see, it's broken the layout because of that image. So if we just come in and if we just remove that just for now, 
and if we go back to the design you can see it's now it's all jumped back up into the right place so we need to change some of the, 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 the content really so the following content we're going to change is this so in the code view the title here is going to be Windows 8 Beta like that and obviously that's our image because we need we haven't added that in yet so we can do that now actually so if we go to the code in here it's going to be images and I think I called it Windows 8 was it beta like that dot png soon find out yep so we've added that in but we don't want that to be in the center we want it to be left aligned so what we can do is we can say instead of ci for center image we can say float left like that i'm going to change the alt tags to windows 8 beta and again just copy that for the title so now if we look at that in design you can see it's now shifted over so looking at that we've got a slight problem and I'll show you what that is if I go into the code and if I just grab the same paragraph again and then just add it into there if you look at that in design view you've got quite a big gap here which doesn't look right uh, so we need to edit this image because of the, of the shadow so I'm going to go back over to, to Photoshop and then I'm going to go to the layers so I'm going to click on the image which is this one I think yep and that one and that one I'm going to export it out again but this time I'm going to do image trim but I'm going to zoom in I'm going to manually remove some of that off as well so I'm going to create a layer just so I can see where the shadow is at the bottom and I'm just going to fill that with white so I can now see so I'm going to grab the crop tool over here and we're going to manually crop it out so I think about there is probably good enough and if we save that so now if I do file save for web in fact before I do that I've got to get rid of this so now if we do file save for web uh, click on save and I'm just going to overwrite the windows one here just click on replace so as you can see now, there's a we've basically taken away some of that space. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this whole article like we did uh, over here on the main article side. So if we come down to the actual article, which is here, I'm going to copy that. Same process as before. So paste one in there and then paste another one in. So we now have the Windows 8 beta. Uh, we're then going to change this one to the Apple iPad Rumors. And then this one is about the playbook. So playbook released. Obviously this is old news now, but obviously it's just for showing you how to do things. You can see we've got all three of them in there now. So the next thing we need to do is actually change these images. So I'm just going to click on the image here and change it here. So it'll be iPad.png. So that's that one changed. And then it's just the playbook one here. So again, playbook.png. And as you can see there, they're now all changed. So we need to style this P tag. So again, what we can probably do in the CSS, if we come down here, we can copy this one here and paste it below change this for sidebar like that so we're targeting sidebar that has a class of article that has a paragraph inside of it and this time I'm going to remove the padding I just want to affect the line height now if we go back in you can see that's changed so if we now go back to the web page hit refresh as you can see there you go so now that we've added the line height we we'll probably want to remove some more of that text because it looks a bit over the top so if we grab just say that remove that and do the same on the others 
like so. Save that, and if we just check that out one more time, and there you go. So that's starting to take shape now. What we do need to do, which I've noticed, is we need to move the sort of the top of the article away from the posted by bit because it's way too close. So if we just minimise this. So the way we can create some space just below the posted bit and the image in the text is to do the following. We can just come in here and underneath the EM here, we'll just type in BR for a, for a page break. And again, do this another one. So we've got two in there. And if you look now, we've got the space that we need. So we can just copy this and paste it below the other ones as well. Like so. If you go back to the design, and if we just preview that in the web page one more time, and as you can see there, we've got some spacing, which basically just kicks it away and just looks a little nicer. So that's basically the sidebar complete. In the next episode, we'll be adding in the, the footer, and then once the footer's complete, we'll be sorting out the tweaks and changing the fonts with, with JavaScript. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.